lot of y'all boys can't hang with the best. Boys in the top 10, I'm about to flex. Top 10 boy, I'ma go high tech. Don't look shook when I roll with the vet. I work hard just to get what I get. Know what they say, like, don't throw a fish. I had to stay low, I took time to learn the roll. I grind, it's all about the principle. Can't stop, I know I gotta win it all. One time for the boys, take a ball. Two time for the girls, make a fall. Three times, yeah, we come in. What do you mean we can't go in the building? She's, she called the cops. I'm going in the building. I just flew. She's calling the cops to get in to get them out so we can go in. Who's living in the building? She doesn't know, it's Waters. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Eric. Carmen. Nice Carmen, to meet you. pleasure to meet you. Uh-huh. What's the situation here? Well, when I first got here, um, I was just sitting here waiting on you guys, and uh, these these two blinds were open. And I, I was telling my daughter, I said, I'm the only one got a key. So if the blinds are open, I was like, somebody is in there, which I've suspected before when I came here. I never seen anybody, but I would just see different things, right? Because it's, it's a vacant building. It's been yeah. for a long time. So as I'm sitting here, I happen to look back up, and both of the blinds were down. And I was like, oh, my God. Uh, somebody's in there. And whose so, car is this? That's mine. That's your car. Yeah. Whose car is that? I don't know. It was here when I got here. Got it's it. It's got a lot of stuff in it, so it may belong to somebody. I don't know. Uh, but I went ahead and called the police. And this? Uh, for one, they trespass. For two, I'm afraid to go in at this point. Um, so I don't I'll go in. You just let me in there. You can go in. I, okay, no problem. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it was already unlocked. Oh, my God. <laughs> no oh, worries. God. Hello. Hey. Is the alarm going off? Because it has an alarm. No alarm. Hello? You hear alarm? Hello? Hello? Hey, how are you? Uh, yeah. Good. Hey, guys. Yeah, they're working. Ma'am, it, it's uh, some guys, they seem like they're working. I didn't hear you. They're working, they have big brooms. No, nobody's supposed to be in there. Okay, I'll find out. They don't want no smoke, you know? Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, good. Good, good. You guys with maintenance? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, we're repairing some uh, ceiling tile. Okay. You're doing what? Repairing the ceiling tile? Yeah, just uh, not all of it, but just uh, just the ones that are banged up pretty bad. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. I'm Eric. We're just looking at the property. Uh, the real estate agent isn't aware you guys are here. She thought someone was squatting. That's your red truck out there? Yeah. Okay, will you do me a favor? Will you just go talk to her and let her know that you're supposed to be here working? Yeah, yeah. She called the police because she thinks someone's squatting. Obviously not a need and you guys are working. Yeah, so just go talk to her, calm her down. She didn't want to come in because she was a little nervous. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah, no problem. I mean, it's always an adventure. It's always an adventure. You know? Yeah, see? Yeah, they, they're replacing the seal tusk. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to get arrested. <laughs> I was ready with my best kung fu, you know? You're gonna turn that shit off. Sorry about that. I know I'm glad to recovery business here. Yes. Most recently. Mm-hmm. What was the school? Yep. Beautiful. Metal detector. Oh, they got the like the food and beverage office. Oh, they oh a little metal detector. Wow. There's a spider protecting it apparently. What what's the story with the metal detector? Do you know? Well, I know it was a boys' group home, so I'm gonna shake them down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> So this is a hallway. And then, do you know if they had this licensed, the last folks, the group home? Licensed medical, I think they said MD, like uh, for uh, license for like, medical, meaning uh, living in nursing homes, um, medical. So those can be turned back into regular rooms. So that we got it after someone else had it. So someone had the listing yeah. for a while. Yeah. And what's the at the ask on this again? The the price? Um.
and it, it appraised. The type for offers. Right. As a medical use? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was ready to fight all these hobos when I came in. I was. I need to keep going, back. I was ready, you know. Okay, so we got these big laundry rooms. Even when you went in, it probably to my car. Yeah, you were out of here. Whatever goes down, goes down. Holy shit. I'm gonna get a witness. <laughs> you get along in Boston just fine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, when we're done, we'll do a quick around the building, yeah? It looks like there's mold on the walls. Yeah, no, there's definitely mold. Mm -hmm. um, have we seen everything? Did we miss anything? No. We've, we've been through. Laundry room, kitchen, offices, hallways, three of them. I'd like to do a around the perimeter if that's okay. I mean, these people aren't going to complain. No. You know? <laughs> Picnic tables, maybe a little courtyard, you know? probably just walk back around, yeah? Right. Because he's got a good point. I'm not scared of the barber. I don't want to fuck up the shoes. I like these shoes. You know? <laughs> State, right? Interesting uh, property. Bank owned, which you don't see a lot these days because there's such an appetite for real estate. But what people don't see when we put these videos up or we do a real estate deal, um, is is the hours and the teams are people that are looking at listings, that are scrubbing deals, that are you know diligencing these things before we come out, and so that's a lot of the work, right? I think that's a lot of the value creation work is learning markets, learning states, geography, understanding the landscape, understanding the market, and then looking at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deals, calling real estate agents, vetting them out, looking up zoning laws, what are, what are uses that are allowed? What can we convert this thing to? What are business verticals that this property would fit to? that we could go and lease it to and get a strong tenant, right? And so that's the value creation I talk about in a lot of my Instagram posts, but you know, it's such short form, for, short form that you have a hard time really explaining what we mean by that. And so the value creation is seeing the vision, finding the property that you can buy on the cheap because someone doesn't want it. So you source the deal, you do all the work, and then at the same time, you start to have your relationships with whatever industries that, you know, would be uh, like this. This is a surgical center. They do surgeries here. So you know who that is. It's medical, it's yada, yada, yada. So you start to network and relationship build in that industry. You don't have to be in that industry, you're a real estate guy. And then you could sell the opportunity. So you pundle the whole deal up, you do all the homework, you create, there's so much values in that. You create all the value in that, checking the zoning box, the diligence box, the schematic, the this, the that, you have everything. You create a nice marketing package and then you go out and you know you have to do your purchase and sales agreement a little differently and it needs to be assignable. And essentially you go out and you've done all this work and then you go to a potential buyer and say, hey, I have this deal, it's ready to go, here's the marketing package, give me, 
I don't know, 50 grand, 100 grand, 300 grand, 500 grand, and it's your deal. I'll sell you the deal. And you can make money. I've made money like that. A lot of people make money like that. This is another play. It's, you do the same thing. You do the deal, package the deal, right? You package the deal. You go out and you find a tenant. And then based on the tenant, you go in and you take a piece of the deal and you go to a, a, a family office, a hard money lender, institutional lenders, like all these sources of capital and say, hey, listen, I have a deal and I have a high credit tenant ready to rent the deal and I just need capital and an operational partner to pull this whole thing together and you work a deal like that and you can take a piece of equity of the building, right? You build, you bake yourself into the deal. These are cashless things. And you have so many people sitting around like with no hustle, no ambition, you know, lucky that you're really lucky. Nice to be you. Like, you know, it, this shit is open for anybody. This really is. But you look at it like, man, I am in an undisclosed state that I've never even been to before. This is my first day in the state that I'm in. I've never been in a state. Um, and I woke up this morning, I had an early ass breakfast, went and got on the airplane and, um, and did the work and got out here and I'm in some, some parking lot filming in front of a fucking dumpster, you know, talking about deals. I'm out here doing deals. And so like, it's really a, that, that one piece is it's about the work ethic and the execution, right? It's about the countless hours, researching deals, chopping wood, carrying water, looking at them, scrubbing them, getting them down to the, the, the point where it's time to go see the deal. Then, you know, I don't have any guarantee that I'm going to make any money out here. I'm going to come say, this could have been bust. I've been to plenty of places. I was in Tennessee a couple weeks ago and I got there and I was there five minutes and I was like, shit, I wasted the whole day. This place is bunk, right? And so, but you get up and you keep swinging and you keep going and you find the deals. And then when it works out and everything comes together, man, you know, payday is payday. You know, the harder I work, the luckier I get. That's a fact. So, anyways, we all of you. We're doing deals, baby. We're doing deals. <laughs> Sounds good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. I just put in the hot food.